In this video I'm going to show you how to install Perch. You download Perch from the Perch website and that will get you a zip file. If you open that zip file you'll find inside there's a Perch folder and then we've got a couple of example pages. So if you take the Perch folder and copy that into the root of your website. If you'd like to rename the Perch folder to something else, for instance CMS, you can do that now. Once you've got Perch copied over, you need to go to your web browser. And you need to visit Perch, or the name that you renamed that folder to. And this will give you a setup form, which also tests your environment to make sure it can run Perch. So the database hostname is very often localhost on your live web hosting and also locally. Your live web host should be able to tell you though if you need to enter an IP address or something else. I'm using Docker so my container is actually called DB rather than localhost so I'm putting that in here. This is the name of your database so whatever you've set up locally or the name that your hosting company gives you for the database. And then you need to use your database username and password. Again, ask your host for this, or this is whatever your local environment uses. Then if you click Test Settings, we run a few tests. And all being well, it will go on and it will actually let you know that you can install Perch. So if you've already bought a license key, you can just enter that here. If not, let's check Try Out Locally and hit continue. Now we're setting up some details for the user account in Perch. This is what you'll use to log into your CMS as the sort of admin user. You can set up other users once you've got Perch installed. Now remember these details, you'll need them to log in. And then hit continue. And that's it, we're all installed. We've checked the server compatibility, we've configured a database, we've entered a license key or worked with local testing, and we've created a user account which we can now use to log in. So here we are logging into Perch, and there we are. This is the Perch admin, and we're all ready to start creating some content using Perch.